Oh, we got someone hurt on the floor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here at the uh, middle school gym for girls high school basketball. Right now they're attending a young lady from uh, Chillicothe uh, on the floor. Uh, this is the junior varsity game. Currently Chillicothe leads 36 to 29, so you're getting a little bonus coverage. I'm Rick Phillips. I'm here with A.J. Ganger and Charlie Hargrave. They're going to be your broadcast crew tonight. Uh, and uh, I think they have some idea that we're uh, getting started here. So anyway, uh, we've got all the stats down there, all the information. Yeah, you got to put your little helmet on there, A.J. <laughs> Yeah, we all know that we have to have a helmet for me in case I fall down well, or yeah, myself. Yeah, that's right. We don't want you falling down. But anyway, I guess we're ready for the broadcast. So I'm going to turn it over to our broadcast crew. Wake up, Charlie. <laughs> all right, we're ready to go. We're on the I'm air. Here. We're I'm here. You're on here. Wow, we're live already? Yeah, we are wow. live. There's just a minute seven left to go in the JV game here at the moment. Injured player just being taken off the court for Chilla Coffee. Yeah, she hurt her leg, it looked like. Yeah, she hurt her leg pretty bad. She's right there at center court, too. Wait to see anybody like that in pain, you know? Right. The Lady Hurricane have actually started to make a comeback in this ball game against Chillicothe right now. It's 36 to 29. Chillicothe in the lead with a minute seven left to go in the fourth quarter. Varsity game scheduled to tip at around 7:30. Well, it'll be a little later tonight. 20 minutes after this yeah. game. It's already 7:20, so it's going. You're probably looking 7:45 or after. <laughs> before the varsity game gets going. And this is the number one Chillicothe. They're tied with McLean, who McLean's playing Hillsborough tonight. Right. So, we hoping get, that, We may get score updates from that game throughout. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we will. At the line right now for Chillicothe is Alexis May, number four. She just made her first free throw. Her second free throw is coming up. That one is good. Nice looking shot. Yep, 38 to 29. Frisco gets the inbound pass for the Lady Hurricane as she brings it up the court with just about 60 seconds left to go here. One minute to go in the moment. I do like the Hurricane shoes. Yeah, you've always liked those shoes. Those are cool. I think I'd look good in those. What do you think? I think you would too. You <laughs> maybe should get a pair of those. She's in trouble, gets it in. I'll tie up. Jump ball, possession arrow goes to Chillicothe. 24 for Wilmington. Heather Fryman was trying to get the ball in to number 15. Leia Self. Cross court, 23, Chantel Smith. And there's a blocking foul against number five, Becca Jenkins. <laughs> yep, big SCOL game night. The ladies playing in the night instead of at noon or one when they normally play. Right. First shot is up and I'm not sure good. this may be the last night of SUL action. For girls, I think this is the, the okay. final La League finales for both Chillicothe, Wilmington, McLean, and Hillsboro. I bet the rest of them are all playing too tonight then. Right. 40 to 29 is our score. As we got 30 seconds left in the junior varsity game, Leah Frisco gave it out in the corner for three. Was self, it was no good. Smith handles the basketball and passes it off. 15 seconds left. Official was about ready to call a foul there. I think the Wilmington coach just yelled at him, no foul, no foul. Right. Five seconds left to go. Get it inside, and that's going to be the junior varsity final. Our score at the end of the junior varsity game, 40 to 29. Chillicothe wins that one. Coming up in about 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, here on CampusNation.com, the 6 and 11 Lady Kane hosting the 14 and 5 and tied for first in the SCOL with McLean. Chillicothe Cavaliers 
Yep. <clears throat> 40 to 29, the win. Uh, yeah, big night tonight. You know, obviously, I kind of really would like to see Wilmington win this, pull from my home school, because McLean's had some good teams. They got a good team this year. You got Shania Massey is uh, leading the bunch here. And she, uh, I think she's scored over 1,000 points in her four years at McLean, which is right. pretty good. Right. Did you Modern. see where uh, the, the Philadelphia – uh, University of Philadelphia um, coach got his thousandth win today. Yeah, I saw that. I thought that was really uh, really cool. I know Coach K got his not too long ago as well. Yeah, he's like at 1,003 right now. It is senior night here live from Fred Summers Court at Mill School Gym. Seniors for Chillicothe is, are being honored at the moment. Wilmington has two seniors, Mackenzie Beam and Monica Pennywit. They will both be um, recognized this evening on senior night. Cool. They did this last night, too, at the Westerville South games. Yeah. We had the girls game there when they played Hilliard Darby where they recognized uh, both team seniors. Yeah. Heidi. Heidi's looking good. Heidi went to school with me. She's a lot younger than me. But. So she may go to Alabama or the University of Ohio State. Yes. To study criminal law and get a law degree. That's awesome. Yes, that is. Yep. <laughs> we'll be a farmer, it sounds like. Hey, Wilmington College is a good place for that. They got a good girls' basketball team as well. Yeah. Yeah, Penny she's undecided right now. Right. Years. Both of them really are undecided. So. And uh, we're getting ready to start the pregame festivities here at uh, Fred Summers Court. I'm surprised I haven't got my Freds mixed up. Fred Risk Arena at the college and Fred Summers Court here. There's a lot of Freds in Wilmington. There are. And there's only Some one Charlie Freds. Hargrave, though. That's right, there is. There's only one Butch Hooper right there. He's a. That's uh, the Hooper girl, the Hooper twins' grandfather, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. And he's been a coach for. Oh, my gosh. He's coached off and on the last 30, 40 years or more. I think he was over at the game uh, earlier this afternoon. Yeah, he was, him and his wife. And uh, Lady Quakers pulled that one out. His brother, you know, just to give you a little history, Bobby Hooper, he played for, I think, Simon Kenton. And uh, that's when Simon – East Clinton used to be Simon Kenton. And then there's a guy named Phil Snow that played for Sabina. And I tell you what, they battled all through high school. Phil Snow is one of those guys, if they'd had the three-point line, he would have another six, 700 points probably on his totals because uh, this is before three-point line. This guy, Phil Snow, would go right across the line and shoot jumper, half-court line I'm talking about. Right. And make it. Well, he went to Miami, blew his knee out there. But uh, Bobby Hooper, Butch's brother, went to Dayton, and then went on and played with the ABA Indiana Pacers right. for a while. I didn't know if you knew that or not. No, I did not know that. Let's give you a little history on the, the Hoopers. So when you see the Hooper twins, they come from a long line of uh, basketball players in the family. So. A big, big, big basketball family. Um, the twins, you know. Obviously, with the story you just told me, yeah, um, there's a lot of a lot of big basketball families, football families out there in the state of Ohio, and that's what makes Ohio so awesome when it comes to sports. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, even when it comes to little sports like baseball and wrestling and stuff like that, there are a lot of families that stick with that one sport and you know where, who they are whenever they, right. wherever they go. So, I mean, that's kind of neat that. Right. Well, yeah, you look at like the Larkins, you know, Barry and Byron. Um, there's several others, you know, father, sons, or brothers. Right. I mean, that's like my family. You want to look at, if you look at it that way, we're a big wrestling yeah. family. Um, my brother will actually be the only one to go to college and wrestle. Yeah, but that's. But, I mean, my dad and his it. brothers, are, they, you know, they all wrestled when they were little. And when they were in high school, I should say, Jared and I started wrestling when we were four or five years old. I tell you, that would have been fun years ago because, you know, Clinton County right now has four schools. Right. But uh, years ago, I'm not sure how many. I, but there's at least, I don't know. We'll just kind of go through them. I, you know, Sabina, Nubiana, Simon Kenton, Wilmington, Bland. Clinton. C Clark, no. No. No, it's Clarksville, Kingman, and I'm sure, I, I think Martinsville. Right. I mean, there's like nine or ten county schools, and I think I'm I think Bland I'm missing one over there because there's Bland, but I think there's another school that was outside of Bland. But I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Think about how fun that'd be. Right. Ten schools in your own county, you know. I mean, consolidation. Uh, you know, a lot of those close rivals. But yeah, that's one thing nice about the SCOL is all these teams are fairly close. You know? Right. I mean, you know, your furthest trips, Massey to Chillicothe. So, I think, and yeah, I think that would be the furthest trip. Chillicothe is, yeah. McLean's not that far. No. McLean, uh, you know, Courthouse, Trace, Wilmington, Massey are all fairly close. And Hillsborough's not that far either. No, that was the easiest place to find. Tell you another conference that'd be interesting to cover a little bit because they're all basketball is uh, the Southern Hills League. All those schools like Leesburg, Fayetteville, and them down there, none of them have any football. Right. I mean, I think Fayetteville might be getting football. Uh, Manchester, I know, is trying to get football. But North Adams, a lot of those schools down there don't even have football anymore. Now, I. I tell you what, I just wonder if that won't be a maybe a maybe a theme for the future too, because the way the rules are in football, the concussion and the the disparity between teams. I just wonder if that's not too far out on the horizon, where maybe we won't see as many football teams. I don't know. I don't know. And that's going to be very disappointing too, because. Uh, you know, everyone loves their football, and they try oh, to change yeah. the rules so much when it comes to football and and how the. Con I mean, I under I agree with all the concussion programs and stuff like that, but take the helmets away from the guys if you know it's such a big deal. But go back to the no face mask or, or whatever. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if that'd be any better, but that, that's the thing you just don't know, you know. Or try to you know, I'll be, and I know they're doing this all the time now, trying to make a better helmet, but I, you know, who knows. But now, speaking of football, I was really close to getting the score right in the Super Bowl. Yes, you were. I was. You were close enough. I'll still get your shirt. I was close enough to the point where if Seattle would have ran the ball and I thrown it from the you'd one yard line, on I would have been right on it. So you've been on it, but, but okay. I'm not hey, going to brag. No, you called it except for the interception. You were yeah. right there until right, the last, right. next to the last couple plays. I was like, plays. come on, I got this. to the interception. I'm like, really? Yep. Oh, Chip, well. Chip Ford from Sabino on the shirt. And uh, I've got to get them. They are done. What did he guess? 28, 24? I can't remember. But I just know he had the right team winning. Right, right, right. And his right. points were closest. So right. He had the Pats winning. So. <coughs> Tell you not a bad little crowd here tonight at the. Uh, the arena, we've got 14 uh, minutes. I don't know. Yeah, well, we have 14 minutes, and we've got 
No, I only think 150 people here, maybe. Oh, yeah. I mean, there was about 250, 300 people at the uh, Lady Quaker game earlier right. this afternoon. There was. Speaking of which, I need to check and see How did the men what do? that men's score was because Bill told me that they only lost by 10 in Marietta. That's and pretty good. When they played them at, at home, they only lost by two. Yeah, Marietta's tough if you don't follow uh, OAC basketball. Undefeated, number three in the nation. Yeah, undefeated. And really, the only team that's played them tough has been Wilmington, right, in the conference. Yeah, I would say. They only lost. Uh, Marietta only won 85-75. So, Wilmington played them tough. Lady Quakers won today 63 63- to 59. And that was a good game, folks. Yep. You missed a good one there. And you'll uh, be able to listen to the replay of that game yes. here later on this evening after this ball game is concluded and Rick goes home and gets everything processed, put up online. Right. Plus, you can go back and watch any of these games. Yeah. You know, that Wayne game you could go watch, Wilmington Wayne. You could go watch Cove Calf uh, and the college games also. So if you're a basketball junkie, there's all – there's hours and hours of free entertainment and wrestling entertainment on yep. there, too. There was 1,400 people at that Marietta game against the men Quakers. That really? Been, yeah. They yeah. were winning. I mean, you know, wouldn't that have been a gas to go down and call? Oh, man, that, that would have been, been great. Fun. That would have been fun. <clears throat> yeah, we got, I mean, campusnation.com is just it's an amazing uh, thing that we have up there. Go on there, watch the, the last two games of, the Scholastic play-by-play where Springfield and Roger Bacon played and right. Wilmington and Wayne, the, the awesome, awesome basketball game with that, with that one. Well, uh, hey, advertisers, you, you think you'd be interested in this? Now's the time to get in on the ground floor. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're getting uh, 500, 600 or more views per game, but that does not count everybody that goes back and watches them after they're already over. And Rick tells me how many people we actually have the next day going and watching that certain video. And yeah. sometimes the numbers are a lot more, more yes. than what we got. So if you if you want to reach some people at a reasonable price, we'll be glad to advertise for you here at CampusNation.com, the sports animal. Yeah, that's right. You're home for high school and college sports. I was supposed to growl. I, I know. I tried to give you the cue, man. Well, but anyways, I mean, we got another <laughs> we got another big uh, schedule lineup of games coming up Tuesday. The uh, number three team in the state, the Wilmington Hurricane, are at home against East Clinton. Right. Wilmington just played courthouse. Courthouse. They beat 30. them by you know, 30, 32 points. Yeah, I think something like that. And then. Uh, McLean, I think, just beat East Clinton yes. last night. So, and East Clinton struggling this year. They're not doing, you know, too bad. But I'll tell you what, they got some pure shooters, just like McLean does. McLean, very, you know, they came out the first half and they played amazing basketball against Wilmington. Well, Miami Trace did too. Yeah, Chillicothe. I think Chillicothe is probably the second best team in the in the now. How the, the how, league? How, you see, so then they played Chillicothe. When did they play Chillicothe? Last week, right? Or was that no? That was a couple weeks ago. You know ago. what? Did they play Courthouse last night? They played Chillicothe a couple weeks ago. Okay. I was trying to think when they played Chillicothe. Have they only played them once or yeah. twice? They played Chillicothe at Chillicothe on Friday uh, when we go and do the Dublin to Rome Westerville South rematch. So they rematch. didn't play Washington Courthouse yesterday. Oh, that's next week. That's yeah. next Friday. Okay, yeah. next Friday. Yeah, okay. February 13th. Had me confused. Friday the 13th. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Oh, man, there is a Friday the 13th. Yep. Probably be a full moon, too. But then on Wednesday, Blanchester, Wilmington, and Bellbrook will be here in the middle school gym as we'll have a try meet for high school wrestling. Uh, Wilmington coming off winning runner-up in the, their region, Ooh. Region 15. For the state duels, they beat Bellbrook in the duel, and then they fell to Ross, I believe, in the fine, the regional finals. Ross gets to go to uh, Columbus at St. John's Arena, I believe that's next week, to wrestle in the uh, semifinals and the finals wow. for Division Two. So, but Wilmington's done. Then, Wilmington as far as was that. ripped. They were runner-up. Okay. 
My brother's team, Covington, they beat Versailles and then lost to Mechanicsburg, who Mechanicsburg should be Division Three state champions anyways, I believe, as a team yeah. at the state tournament and in the duels. They'll have to be Dayton Christian, but I think Mechanicsburg's well on their way, and they're going to have a state championship uh, year. Now let so. me ask you a question. Is wrestling purely team, or can you win like in a weight class and keep going? Okay, here's the thing. When you're talking about when you're talking about the state duels like they're doing now, yeah. that's a team concept yeah. where whoever you know scores more team points. If you win as a weight class, that's different. Uh, okay. There is, let's say, there's two different states. All right, there's the state duels, which was happening. It's just happening now and happening right. for the last couple and weeks. That's a team. Yes, but to make it to the actual state tournament as an individual, you have to place in the top four at your sectional the top four at your district, and you make it to the state tournament, which is the bet in, in your division, in your weight class, the, those are the top 16 kids in the state. And that occurs after the duels, I'm assuming. Yes, that state tournament will be this year, March 12th, 13th, and 14th at Value City Arena, Jerome Schottenstein Center. That's when the state tournament's happening. It's pushed back a week because the week before that, that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the Big Ten Wrestling Championships are oh, at wow. Ohio State this year. There you go. You want to go try to catch any of that or not? Actually, I'll probably be at districts the week before watching my brother. There you go. They're at Troy. So, but you won't be able to go to state. No, because I'll be in D.C. No, that's right. Yeah, you said that earlier. Go I could go Thursday Brock. and Friday. We'll go up with Barry and the boys. Right, right. <laughs> but no, but I mean – Wrestling is one of those sports where it's been around for ages. The Olympics oh, have tried yeah. to take it away, but the Which wrestling community, no sense, it's yeah. strong. It's, it's the strongest community out there. I signed, what, like three or four different petitions saying to keep, they need to keep it in. And, um, you know, they're bringing it back. And uh, I've had the opportunity to meet a ton of Olympic wrestlers. The one hey. that I have yet to meet that I would really love to meet is Kurt Angle, and I have yet to meet him. i tell you, what about a – Oh, I can't remember his name. He was Olympic champion. It's been a while back. Kale Sanderson? The great big guy. Oh, anyway. a Rulon. He's, yeah, Rulon, Rulon Gardner. Gardner. Yeah, he was something else. I thought that was such a classy act, too, because I think one of his gold medal thing in the Olympics, he went out and left his shoes. That was his final Olympic match. Yeah. I think that that wasn't even a gold match. I think that was oh, for bronze. Was that for bronze? He's won I, Olympic, but I think that was for bronze. That was the final match he was ever going to wrestle. He goes out. He, his shoes out he goes out after the match. Leaves his shoes in the middle of the mat. It's a sign of, um, kind of like respect and, and stuff like that. So that I mean, yeah, if I was that if I was that good and I you know made it that far and wanted to call the quits, I would have done that too probably. Yeah. But he he was actually on the Biggest Loser uh, a yeah, couple of years yeah, ago because he, he you know that. he got huge and had to lose some weight so. I remember that. I, I still remember him putting those shoes down. Yeah, that was the, I mean, the best thing in the entire – and I still remember Cale Sanderson, who is now the head coach at Penn State, yeah. going 149-0 and zero in college, the wow. only person to ever go undefeated in college and win four national titles wow. undefeated. Now, there's only three people in the history – of high school wrestling, or not high school, in the history of the NCAA that have yeah. won four national titles. Really? Really. Huh. Kale Sanderson, Kyle Dake, and I believe Dan Gable or John Smith. Really? And so a lot of these wrestlers that you see on entertainment wrestling, some of those were wrestlers in college, you think, a lot of them? Or uh, the John Cena's? was. Lesnar was. Cena never went to college okay. that I know of. Dolph Ziggler. Guess where Dolph Ziggler went? No clue. Kent State. He's from, oh, okay. he's from Cleveland. Okay. Uh, that's where he wrestled. Um, Brock Lesnar, obviously, beast. Went, went, won a national title at Minnesota. Went to UFC. Fought in the UFC. I mean, yeah. a lot of those wrestlers you see in high school and stuff, they go off and they do UFC and or they go and do Olympics now, and stuff what, like that. What's your opinion on this uh uh, I can't think of what, you know, basically where they fight in a cage. UFC, mixed martial arts. What do you think of that? Um, 
I think it's entertainment, and I think Dana White has done an amazing thing by um, creating that, so to speak. Yeah. Um, it's just a, it's it's kind of a rip on kickboxing with right. submission holds and stuff, and not in the ring. Um, yeah. I don't mind now, UFC. It, I don't watch it, it. Is it? It's legit, isn't it? No, that's legit. Yeah, that stuff's legit. Well, that's what I thought. There are girls that fight in that stuff now. Really? Yep. See, I just don't pay much attention to it. I'll tell you what. I miss the days of, uh, you know, when I was a kid, it was really neat because all the big fights would be on TV on just regular ch- channels. HBO. Well, no, not even on HBO. It was like on just ABC, CBS. I'm talking old. Oh, like, like Muhammad, Muhammad Ali. Ali oh, I Joe used to Frazier. love watching Mike Tyson fight, man. Ken Norton. Now you got to pay to watch him because how do you think Money May- Mayweather yeah. makes his millions? Not yeah. by knocking guys out. Well, yeah, by knocking guys out, but by making people make a pay-per-view buy. Yeah, Jerry Cooney. I'll tell you what. That, that the was last some neat boxing, stuff. The Sugar la- Ray Leonard. The last boxing pay-per-view that I watched, I didn't pay for it. I was there watching it at a friend's house. Yeah. I think it was when Floyd and Pacquiao fought for, like, the second time. I think that's who it was. That was an amazing fight, but I just – I can't get into the, all the boxing and the UFC. No, so. I don't either. I can't even tell you who the heavyweight champion is right now uh-uh. in boxing. Well, I tell you what, let's talk about this game a little bit tonight. Uh, Cavaliers, 14-5. and five. If they win, they'll retain a share of uh, first place in the SCOL. And may, may, yeah, win it outright, depending on what McLean and Hillsborough do tonight. Right, right. And, you know, it's interesting because – McLean, their only two losses have come to Chillicothe, and uh, Chillicothe's lost to two other teams in the SUL. So it, it's just, you know, you, when you put it in that perspective, it's interesting. You know? Wilmington comes in in the night. Uh, six three, and 11. Six and 11, okay. And, uh, you know, it's their last home game for the seniors. Uh, they've played some pretty good ball here as of late. Oh, yeah, they have. So, I you know, and I, I'm not sure who Chillicothe lost to before. Oh, is Buckeye Country here tonight? Oh, okay. Buckeye Country, your sports, uh, yep, your sports guys in uh, Washington Courthouse, good guys, good guys, Buckeye Country. So. And they came up before you got here and asked us if we needed any help with any pronunciations of the the girls, which you know, they've worked with us in the past, oh, yeah. and it's really really nice. You know, they're really cool. They're really uh, well, one amazing. of them. One of them still may come out and judge the pen of contest. It's not Harry. That's who I wanted. We're getting ready to go. The hurricane heading toward the bench. And get ready for the uh, national anthem here. We'll turn it over to our announcer to uh, get us ready for the national anthem. Greg Quallen on the PA announcing tonight.
phone's plugged in, right? Is it charging? Make sure it's charging. The red light on. All right, well, we're getting ready to start here, ladies and gentlemen. Chillicothe will be in their blue uniforms tonight. The Hurricane will be in their white, their home white. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about time for a tip-off here at Fred Summers Court. You are watching Girls High School Basketball live on CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. I'm A.J. Ganger with Charlie Hargrave and Rick Phillips up in the booth. With Noel Kane on camera. Yes, Jazzy we are Black alive and house. making you look Hargrave good up here. Up there for harassment. Jazzy Black Jr. That's right. <laughs> and the tip goes to Chillicothe, number 20, Halton. Chillicothe has the ball up on the top. Long three-pointers start the game off. No good. Wilmington rebound. That was Bree Dawes. Wilmington on the other end gets it knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Lady Kane. That was a long three-pointer, that first one. That was. It was no good by Dawes. Wilmington needs to get the ball inbounded. They do to Pennywit. No good. Rebounded by Beam. No good. Ball still loose. Picked up by number 33, Jordan. Gives it off to Dawes. Dawes to let. Throws it away. It's going to go back to Wilmington. Wilmington could pull off the big upset here tonight. That would be great for their final home game. Oh, it would be great for them. They'd be helping out the old Tigers over in McLean quite a bit also. Jamel. Jamil. Right? Jamil. Jamil with the ball. You got it right tonight. I know. Where well, mommy got on me, remember? Right. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice cut to the basket. Foul. foul. Two shots for Pennywit. Let's see who the foul is charged against. Foul. Number 32, Osh Brown. That is a nice cut to the basket by Pennywit. Two shots for Pennywit at the line. The first one is good. Wilmington opens up the scoring salvo with 7.08 left to go in the first. Still one more shot upcoming for Pennywit. It's up, and it's good. good. Two nothing, Lady Kane in the lead here early on. They're going to play a little full court like press that, here. Yeah, it looks like maybe a, a, a trap. You want to try a trap, half court trap? No. Let gave it off to Brown for Jordan. Wilmington is playing man. And yeah, they went from that zone, it looked to him, to man. This is Brown. They're playing man right now. Brown to Holton. Holton back over to Let. They're trying to find it inside. Almost got it stolen well, I away. There's a foul running foul called. Everybody just kind of stopped there for a second. Dolls with the ball. Kicks it back out. Holton spinning to the bucket. Too strong. Rebounded by Beam. And then she handed it off to Jamel. And a bad pass. She threw it away. Going back to the Cavaliers. Tell Nobody you, was in that area. No, well, yeah. It's, 
just trying to you know, force things. I tell you, one thing I'm noticing about Chillicothe already, they are quick. Yeah. They're taking good shots, too. It's not like they're not taking good uh, shots. Their shot, shot good, selection is outstanding. Well, yeah, and just they're not. They're awful hard. They're, they're again, trying to force a little bit. Dolls. Little nerves. You know, it's the last game for the seniors. And so. a chance to share the SCOL title. Jumper, too short, rebounded underneath, and the basket counts. Number 33, Jasmine Jordan with the bucket. She gets fouled by number 33, Caitlin Jamil. That's her first, the team's first. Three point play is completed by Jordan. Here goes Sanderson down the court. Sanderson to Jamil. They're very tight on defense as well. Yes, they are. Jamil drives all by herself off the glass nice. and good. Nice runner down the right side of the lane. Dawes, good job by Beam to knock that one away. It goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with Chillicothe. If she would have ran down the court, she would have had a chance to go coast to coast. Yeah, she doesn't have any control of it. But she made a nice play getting rid of the ball. Right. Knocking it out of bounds. Now this Chillicothe team's fast. Yeah, they are. Got a chance for half court trap. Oh, almost going away again. Numbers. Bad pass. It was last touch by Chillic. Oh, that one was last touch by Chillic. Yes, it was. That's going to stay with Chillic. We've though. seen several of those today. The referees just like letting us down. Let with the basketball now up on top. She gave it off to Brown. Nice cut. Brown fit it in. Jordan. With the bucket off the off the glass for two. She's got all five points for Chillicothe. Yes, she does. Fleeman, jumper, airballed it. That was last touch. Oh, I thought she touched that one. No, I don't think she did. I don't think she did. Ball will go back to Chillicothe. It's five to five four. four. Cavaliers in the lead. 5-0-3 left to go in the first quarter. Wilmington's well, still showing a little pressure here. Looks like a 2-1-2. Two, two. Well, it's a half court trap. You try to get him in the corner and trap him. And then you end up with a wide open player like that. No good on the shot by Holton. Rebounded by Chillicothe, but she's going to step on the line and the ball will go back to Wilmington. Yep. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, if you got to get on that trap, you got to get on quick because if not, they're going to have numbers down below. That's for sure. Right. Sanderson brings the ball up the court for the Hurricane. Gives it off to Fleeman. Fleeman thought about a three. Goes inside, and Travel. she's going to travel, yeah. Yep. She was going to Chicago as well. I think so, yep. She had the bags packed. Just thought about that three, and then remember her last shot, and I think she just decided to go uh, try driving in. See what it Dawes has to get it across half court still. Yeah. Wide open under the basket is Jordan for two. All seven points have been scored by Jasmine Jordan. Jamil gives it off to Sanderson. Sanderson to Fleeman. Fleeman drives, goes up, off the glass, no good. Rebounded by, it's a jump ball, and it's going to stay with Wilmington. Yes. Seven to four. Coming in the ball game. Rhea Earhart, number four. Number 11, Desden Beam. Number 15, Susanna Johns for the Hurricane. Wilmington has possession. They're going to throw it in from the baseline. Fleeman gives it to Johns. She travels up and down. Here goes Chillicothe on the other end. Drives the baseline. Jordan That's couldn't get away. it. Last touch by the Hurricane. 350 left to go in our first quarter. Seven to four, Chillicothe in the lead. Jasmine Jordan with all seven points right now yes. for Chillicothe. She's, she's doing a great job. Uh, hopefully Wilmington's taking note of that. 
Lett with the basketball. She almost traveled. Holton drives, gets it off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Jamel. Here come the Hurricane up the court. She's gonna take it on her own. Oh, she got it too. Good shot, Caitlin Jamil for two. Again, just a nice little runner down the right side of the lane. And then Chillicothe already <laughs> quick on the other end. Kicks it outside over to Dawes. Dawes to Holton, Holton kicks it in. 32 goes up, no good. That was Brown. They get the rebound, let with the ball. Throws it over to Dawes. Dawes all by herself, good basket off the glass. Left hand. Nine to six, Chillicothe in the lead. Three minutes left to go in the first quarter. Jamel gives it off to That Dawes is quick. Nice pass to Earhart. Earhart goes up with it. Go. Just she too, too hard strong. on the shot. Yeah, way too hard oh. on the shot. Brown almost stepped on the line. There goes Dawes on the other end. She passes it out. Let for three. No good. Rebounded by Bria Earhart, who almost had it stolen. Jamil picks it up. Jamil gives it to Johns. Good pick by Earhart. Almost loses it. And that's a we foul. foul. <laughs> Number 20 charged Holton. with the foul, Jenna Holton. Her first team second, Sanderson and Pennywit back into the ball game for the Hurricane. And number 21 coming on the court to Shawnee Smith for Chillicothe. They get it in. They do underneath to Pennywit underneath who's fouled. Oh. She was drilled. She almost had the bucket too. Senior Monica Pennywitt going to go to the line to shoot two. Number five, Shea Lett charged with her first team's third. First one for Pennywitt. That one's money. Monica Money Pennywitt. That's good. I like that one. <laughs> her, all her points so far has been from the line. She's got the second yep. one too. Back to a one-point lead for Chillicothe, 9-8. to 2.19 to go first quarter. Let gets the inbound pass. They're still sticking with this trap, it looks like. Holton. See, they got to get up nice. quicker. Nice steal by Sanderson to Beam. Beam lost that one. Ball still loose. Picked up by Wilmington and Monica. Jump ball. And that one's going to go to Chillicothe. Second jump ball already. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I tell you what, they're fighting for that thing too. Right there at mid court. Two minutes left to go, first quarter. Just gotta take care of the ball a little better here if you're Wilmington. You're not gonna be able to have too many crazy mistakes with uh, with this team. Three pointer for Smith, oh, air ball. Nothing. Rebounded by Dawes. Who goes up with it, no good. Ball still loose. Save. Stolen away by Beam. Desden Beam draws the foul and she'll shoot two. Foul is on number 20. Yes. Number 20 holds. Holton. That's her second. Is it? Mm hmm. Yes, that's her second. Team's fourth. That was on number 20. Well, Wilmington can take the lead here and make a couple free throws. First one, good, ties it up. For Wilmington being six and 11, they have not been blown out all season long. They have lost those close games. Yeah, I just wonder how they did with Chillicothe the first time around. Second one is good. Dolls gets yeah, it off the let. Get, they gotta get on that trap quicker. Yep. It's like there's a delay almost. Brown missed the bucket. Ball got knocked out of bounds. Oh, and they reversed they changed it. the call. Wilmington ball now. Well, that's why you got three officials out there. Isn't that a recent change? What's the three that? officials? Uh, it's, it's been around for probably 10 years or longer. Sanderson with the basketball. Loses it, but it's picked up. 
by Johns. Johns gives it over to Desden Beam. And now a good Stolen defensive away. play. Jordan stops, puts it off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Sanderson. Two on two. She's going to go up and get, oh, it's a jump ball. Wilmington will retain possession. She hit the floor yeah, hard. she went down at her right knee pretty bad there. And she's only a freshman. Wilmington has four freshmen on their varsity roster. 10-9, less than a minute to play here in the first quarter. Lehman coming back on the court for Wilmington. Got to get rid of it. And she got rid of it. It was bad pass to inbounds. Smith gives it to Dahls. Step, jumper, no good. Wow. That was on over the bat. <coughs> That's what I was thinking, too. I thought they got away with one there. Chillicothe retains possession. 50 seconds left to go in the first. Dolls gets the inbound. She gives it off. Smith over to Brown. Brown to Vet or Let. 30 seconds left to play. Dolls to Let. Three pointer, no good. Followed her shot, got her own bound though. Good yep. hustle. Kicked it good out to Dolls. Jordan for two. Fifteen seconds, eleven to ten, chill coffee. Wilmington can take a first quarter lead here. Yeah. Beam. Oh, Gives it off wide two. open to Fleeman for two off the no, it was Sanderson. Sanderson. Sanderson for two. And at the end of the first quarter, the Wilmington Lady Hurricane have a 12 to 11 lead over yep. the Chillicothe Cavaliers. 12 11, end of the first quarter. What a first quarter. That was. I, I tell you, you know, you know, if you're Wilmington right now, you just got to figure out a way to shut down Jordan. You know, that's the main thing. Rick, what did you see in the first quarter? He's just talking to all the women up there. Yeah. I saw <laughs> one heck of a good first quarter. You know, the I know Charlie's cheering 12, 11, on the I'll Lady Kane yeah, for a couple nine, reasons. Obviously, he wants his – uh, uh, He wants he's the Cavaliers yeah. to lose so that his uh, – Greenfield McLean girls will rush into first place. Right, Charlie? He's talking about you McLean. You want Wilmington to win some of the Well heck yeah. Uh, heck yeah. Wilmington's I guess looking we, good right we, now. We have we we have to explain to everybody that Charlie and AJ, we've booted them out of the booth. They are actually sitting in front down in the stands. And we're in the booth running the. Uh, what we do you don't point? have a text yet, do we, from McLean? A test? A, te text. a text from McLean? Oh, a text? I don't know. Should be getting score updates from the McLean Hill Hill I don't know, but your Facebook page looks real interesting now. Yeah, it does. It's getting interesting it? by the minute. My daughter hacked my account. That's all right. I think I might have put that anyhow. All here right. we go. Back to action. Second quarter starting here. Dolls got trapped. Launched it to Smith, who gives it over to Let. And then Smith drives, no good. Rebounded by Jamil. She gets it out, Sanderson. Sanderson, coast to coast, gets fouled. <laughs> For a freshman, she's kind of fearless, you know what I mean? 33, Jordan charged with her first team's fifth. And now Sanderson will shoot two. First one, no good. Little strong. Second one, nailed it. 13 to 11, Lady Qu Hur Hurricane in the lead. I tell you, this half court trap is messing with uh, Chill Coffee a little bit. Yeah, it is. Like See, there we go. Stole it away. Yeah, she traveled there. Man, Earhart traveled. That's all right. They're still shaking them up a little bit on this half court trap. That's okay. You can get burn on it, and they have got burn on it a couple of times, but. I think it had more positive come out of it than negative. Right. I see we could have been ready for it again here, but Smith has the basketball. 
Makes her move, drives to Jordan, ball's loose. Foul on, on Sanderson, Sanders. I believe. Yeah. No, number four, Earhart. Her first team second. You thought it was Sanderson too, didn't you? Yeah, I did too. <laughs> Hurricane thought it was air ball. They're all dropping back to the backboard. <laughs> Leah Fresco. Dolls gives it off to Lett. Frisco's in the game. Lett gives to Jordan on the inside, and I think that one's going to be on Frisco. Yep. Her first yeah. team's third. Might not have been a bad foul because the girl had it right underneath there. She didn't shoot yet. Inbound. Almost stolen away. If Dolls pulls it down. She's in trouble. Gives it off to Jordan. Jordan to Lett. Lett almost lost it there, too. Dolls kicks it out to Smith. Smith back over to Lett. Lett to Dolls. There. They were trying to fit it inside the entire time, but it was stolen away when it was. Ball still loose. Picked up by Penny. Went gives it to Jamil. Fleeman for three. Nail the shot. Victoria Fleeman. Jordan cross court. 16-11. Wilmington with the lead. Smith thought about a three. She drives. No good. A lot of contact. Ball still loose. Picked up by Chillicothe. Over to Let. Let long three. Oh, that one was beautiful. I believe that was an NBA three. Oh man, that, that was only back at the volleyball line. Out there. 16 to 14, Wilmington in the lead, six minutes to go, and Penny Turn away. gets it knocked off of her shoes. Ball will go back to Chillicothe. That was a good pass, he just, uh, Penny just didn't catch it. Right. 6.02 remaining in the first half. Wilmington has the lead, 16 That's right. to 14. They're playing great. Yes, they are. I'll tell you, Chillicothe's quick. I'm impressed with their speed. Led with the basketball, gives it off to Dawes. Dawes dribbling. Back to Led. Drives, goes up, one hand, no good. Rebounded by Brown. Brown misses. That's over the back. Yeah, they going there's that over the back on Jamil. Man. Brown charged with the foul. I tell you what, I mean, that's they, her second. Yeah, they've could have called that a couple times this uh, first half, and nothing's and that's the first time. Here we go, sixteen fouls already, and Sanderson almost got knocked out of her hands. Nice pass to Fleeman, who traveled. Oh, she traveled. Yeah, traveled. Thought they were going to call a foul for a second. Nah, she, okay. she's trying to take an extra step. You can't do that. Here goes Let down the court. Here we are back in the half court trap. Oh. Smith. Travel, Travel against yeah. number four, who's in the ball game, Alexis May. Tanner Stewart coming into the ball game for Wilmington. Sanderson brings it up, gives it off to Fleeman. Fleeman to Jamil. A lot of reaching, a lot of hand checking going on. Yeah. Sanderson kicks it to Fleeman, long three. Wow, that one was going to be good. As soon as it left her hands, Wilmington has a five-point lead, 19-14, 4.37 left to go in the first half. Fleeman's, Fleeman's getting hot on him. That could be a good thing for the Hurricane. Led with the, the basketball, gives it off to Smith. Smith over to Dahl. Back over to Lett for a three. Well, another long three, but it's no good. Oh, what a rebound by number four, Alexis May. With the putback for two. 
Sanderson yeah, to Jamil. The Hurricane just didn't box out. They had position and just didn't box out. Jamil to Frisco, picks it up. She's fouled hard underneath by number four, May. That's her first seven. team seven. Wilmington is in the bonus. Yeah, four minutes in the bonus. That's not bad. Frisco shooting two. Got the first. John's coming back into the game. Sanderson heading out. I tell you, Sanderson's played pretty good while she's been in oh, there. Oh, it's Gleeman. Yep. Second one by Frisco is good. She's clutch at the line. 21-16, 4.02 left to go in the first half. Just goes already out, and Earhart back in. Now we're showing a little man pressure, it looks like. Yep, inbounded the Dolls, working against John. She is quick. Foul. 15, John. That's kind of a cheapy. Her first team sport. Guys, we're not shooting, that's just a, yeah. Girls all thought there was going to be a shooting foul. There's not a shooting foul there. It bowed right underneath the basket. No good with the shot. May kicks it out to Dawes. Over to Lett for three. Nailed it. Jay Lett. Makes it a two-point game. She's, a, she's got a good shot. She's not afraid to shoot it from downtown either. No, Jamil. Five second call. Wilmington's gonna get a timeout. It's like a 30. 30 second timeout for Wilmington. You are watching Girls High School Basketball live on CampusNation.com. The sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. We're about midway through the second quarter. Wilmington's still holding on to the two-point lead. Yeah. And uh, I, I tell you, the half-court the half court uh, trap, I think, has uh, got the Cavaliers off their game a little bit. I think Wilmington needs to stay with that, but they can't be lazy about it. They got to get up quicker, and uh, you know, if they break it, they got to get back quicker. Tell you what, Fleeman and Sanderson is having a very good game right now. Yeah. Sanderson's only got three, but Jamil's got four. Well, Sanderson's just was handling the ball and controlling the ball pretty good. Chillicothe will inbound from their own bench. Yeah, it looks Smith. like they're showing just a little man to man. Press all the way up. Should have trapped Dawes there, but they didn't. Let drives, kicks it back out, three-pointer, no good for Dawes. Rebounded by Smith, who goes up and puts it off the glass to tie the basketball game back up at 21. 21-21. John's trying to fit it in. It's stolen away by May. Let throws it off. Dawes to Smith, who goes up again, no good. Misses it, gets fouled. Yeah, fouled by uh, Earhart, I believe. Nope, they call it on uh, Fleming. Fleming, her first. Fleming. Team Smith. Well, they could have called it either for Fleming in the front or Earhart on the back. Two shots for Smith. First one good. <clears throat> Chillicothe reclaims the lead after that free throw. Yep. Still a good ball game. 22 21. Second one, good. 23, 21, 255, left to go, first half. Chillicothe in the lead. Sanderson drives, goes up, gets fouled. She'll shoot two. Fouls on number four, May, her second. Should be team shooting nine. two. Up team eight. Yeah, eight. Shooting two. Sanderson misses the first. Mm -hmm. 
Second one, that one's money. 22-23, Dolls. Dolls, I tell you what, she's quick. She's the quickest player on the court right now. Yep, she gives it off to Smith. Smith looking to drive, got to kick it out, does. Three-pointer at the top of the key, no good. Rebounded by Fleeman. She gets it stolen away. She was trapped. Three-pointer by Dawes, no good. Rebounded by Sanderson, who gives it off to Fleeman. Fleeman goes up and almost made it. Almost made the acrobatic shot. That's a two-shot foul. It looks like Sanderson's hurt out here. Let's yeah, second, Sanderson's lipping nine. around out there. Yeah. That's not good, Cole. The plus part of her game is running that offense. And First one, no good for Fleeman. She's pretty quick. Getting ready to shoot to second. Second up and good. good. Tied back up at 23. 2-10 left to go, first half. <clears throat> Dahls brings it up. She gives it off to May. May to Smith. Over to number three is in the game. Cousins. Oh, almost a travel there. Dahls puts it up off the glass for two, it's good. <clears throat> Johns has it, no good, rebounded by Cousins. And Cousins brings it down to court. She almost traveled. Yeah. Traveled. Nope, timeout against Chillicothe, 30 seconds. tell you seconds. what, she almost did last time she had the ball, too. 30-second timeout taken by Chillicothe, 25-23. to 23. Cavaliers in the lead. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is back and forth. Wilmington well, needs to stay with that. I think that half court trap, and they need to just, you know, when they're on offense, don't get in a big rush. You know, there's no clock. Take your time, work the ball around. Get that open three. You're just a band director. I'm just a band director. <laughs> I'll give it to you. I am, man. Hey, you do. You know a lot about basketball. You know more than I do. Well, I coached in one year, and I – I was around at all my high school years. So, and I used to watch a lot of college basketball. Never really liked pro. Pro basketball just seems like a whole different animal to me. There's no defense. Right. Dolls gets the inbound pass after the timeout. 125 to go in the first half. Cousins gets it into Jordan. Three pointer for uh, May. She's on the line. Two. Rebounded by Jamel. Gives it to Minute 17. Sanderson. Yep, Sanderson. Looks like that knee's all right. Oh, I'm sure she's hurt. She got it knocked out of her hands. May all alone gets the layup. 27-23. Penny went. Cross court, Jamil. Gets fouled. That's her second. Team 10th. Team ten. Two so now shot shooting foul. two, yeah, for the last 50 seconds here. Wilmington needs to get these and not get too far out of this game. They should be happy. Coach should be happy with them going into the half. First shot for Jamil, no good. I tell you, that's been a problem. They've missed how many free throws? At least four, four or five, yeah. Missed the second one. Pennywick gets the rebound. She goes up with it. No good. Ball still loose. Wilmington basketball. Twenty-seven twenty-three. Wilmington in the lead. Gets it in. Earhart to Beam. Beam, nice pass to Earhart off the glass, but no good. It's too strong. 
Here goes Jordan. Tries There's to find May. 31.2 seconds remaining in the first half. 27 to 23. Be nice to get her another chance at a three. Plenty of time here left, 30 seconds. They can run a lot of offense. Trying to make it a one point game going into the locker room. Jamil gets it off to Fleeman, knocked out of bounds, stays with Wilmington. Yeah, we were talking about families earlier. Fleeman, her dad's basketball coach, or was, I don't know if he still is. So is Grandpa. I mean, it's just, yeah, like I said, your children tend to do what you do, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Jamil will inbound. Tried to get it in Earhart, knocked out of bounds. Be nice for women to get one last score here and hold uh, hold the Cavaliers to nothing. Bad pass. Oh, oh no. Good job by Fleeman. Fleeman puts it off the glass and the, gets the bucket. Ten seconds left. Here goes Dolls. They're going to try to get two more points. Wide open underneath the basket was Jordan. They get it to her. Maybe a little too late because that's going to be the end of the first half with the score. Chillicothe. 27, Wilmington 25. You're watching Girls High School Basketball Live on CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for college and high school sport. 27, 25, and I've got it. All right, I'll tell you what we've got here. Unofficial stats, but I think they're probably pretty official. Uh, that's fine. For... Uh, Wilmington uh, on the board is Pennyworth with four, Sanderson with four, Fleeman is checking in with nine right now, uh, Jamil has four, Beam two, and Frisco two. For the Cavaliers, Lett has six, two three-pointers, Dawes has four, Jordan, who got off to a hot start. Jordan has nine, Smith has four, and May has four. Foul trouble, really no one is in foul trouble for the Hurricane. No one has any more, over one foul for any of the players on the Hurricane. Chillicothe, there's a number of, uh, number of players here with two fouls. Lett has two, Holton has two, Jordan has two, Brown has two, and May also has two. So that's, you know, they, they had 10 fouls that first half to Wilmington's four. Uh, I tell you, this is my first time seeing Chillicothe, and the thing that impressed me is they are just so quick. I'm going to check with our uh, guru, Mr. Rick Phillips, and see if he has heard anything on the McLean score. So we'll be back in about a minute or two. Put it in there a different way. It just, it's probably just got a short four to go. Put it. Well, it's not working on mine. So cute. You like that? Uh, I'm not talking. 
AJ just went down, got a score. And it's uh, 37 to 27. McLean, is that the, at the half also? They're already in the third quarter over there. Well, this game got started a little late tonight. So 37 27 right now. McLean's beating Hillsborough. So if Wilmington can put the put the put the, the victory together tonight, the upset, that'll help the McLean Tigers be uh, the sole possessor of uh, first place. We are at halftime here, ladies and gentlemen, at Fred Summers Court in the middle school gym with the score, Chillicothe 27, Wilmington 25, and a great, great first half so far here, Charlie. Yeah, I mean, it, Chillicothe's been really quick. The Wilmington's turned a little uh, half-court trap on, half-court trap on them that's got them a little shook up. And uh, a couple girls, the Fleeman girl and the Sanderson girls just played an outstanding uh, first half. And the Jamil girl also hadn't done too bad. But Wilmington's got to get a little more in control on the offensive side and turn up the heat a little more on the defensive side. Right, and they're not, it's not like they're taking bad shots either. The shots they're taking are very, very good. Their shot selection is amazing uh, just, for both teams. I mean, both teams aren't taking the bad shots. They're just missing yeah. some of the easy ones. And they're turning the ball over a lot. Both teams are really turning the ball yeah, over. Well, That's going to have to change. They're trying to force stuff. It's just not there. Oh, well, we are getting ready to begin the second half here. Again, you are watching high school girls basketball live on CampusNation.com. The sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. AJ Ganger here alongside me this evening. Charlie Hargrave as usual. Yep. Rick Phillips up in the booth. Noel Kane running camera. Crystal Hargrave drinking a blue Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> and Rachel Hargrave. Rachel Hargrave keeping the dawn happy. 
the Dawn, Rick Phillips. Yeah, they got to keep the Dawn happy. Praise, praise the Dawn. The Women's Mafia, baby. <laughs> CampusNation.com. <laughs> the Mafia. The Sports, the sports Mafia. <laughs> All right. I think Chillicothe. Chillicothe's coach got some issues going on already. I'm not sure what. I don't know if him and the refs are telling jokes or what. But we're going to restart the game. Chillicothe will inbound the ball on the far side. What joke do you think he was telling them? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck, chuck, chuck wood? I don't know. <laughs> Groundhog Day was this last week. Maybe they're talking about the difference between Buckeye Chuck and Buck's Tawny Phil. That's my brother's birthday. Oh, is it? Every year. <laughs> well, I'd hope so. Let with the basketball. Chillicothe starts with it. Jordan throws it over to Dahl. Dahl to Holton. Man, Dahl, she's so quick getting inside. She just can't put down the this basket. Rebounded by Pennywood. Last touch by Chillicothe. Ball remains with yeah, Wilmington. It's a perfect example. You know, why force that pass? Because you know, you're in trouble. Chillicothe is uh, backing off here. I'm a little bit surprised. We're going to let Wilmington be able to take the court up, un ball up the court uncontested. Sanderson gives it off. Fleeman wide open. Three. No good. Rebounded by Chillicothe. Man, that was almost a disaster. Yeah. Three pointer for Lett. In and out. In and out. That's a good sign. I tell you, she was she hit two or three the first half. Penny Wet gets the rebound. The half. Beam batted the ball back into a Chillicothe's girl's face, and I felt her pain. Beam, no good. She gets fouled, and she will shoot two. That's McKen McKenzie Beam. Number five, Shay Lett. Second? Third. third. Her third. Beams first. That's a good thing for the Kane. Beams first shot in and out. Because Lett has two threes. You know, she has to set a little while, which it looks like she's coming out right now. So. Second one good. 26-27. Chillicothe in the lead. 6.50 left to go in the third. As Dahl brings it up, gives it off to Holton. Holton over to Lett. Let back over to Dahl. It is confusing them a little bit, this half-court trap. Oh, I think so. Out. I think it is. Bad pass. Over and back. Over and back, yep. Chantel Smith. All right, here's Sanderson bringing the ball up court. Working, working. Gives it off to Pennywit. Pennywit, cross court, Fleeman. Fleeman in trouble, going to drive, go up with it. You know, He's fouled. Foul, yeah. Hey, that's on. Uh, that's Jones. Jordan. Her third, that's her third. Second. Wilmington needs to start making these easy ones. If they would yeah. have made all their well, free throws, they would what. be up by five points. I tell you what, I'd say they'll probably take this girl oh. out too. First one good by Fleeman. The next one can put him in the lead. Now Jordan and Letts are leading scores. Hmm. And Letts already, I think, set. 28-27, oh. Wilmington the lead. 6-10 left to go, third quarter. Cross court, Smith to Brown, got it. Bad pass, here goes Dahls. Wilmington with numbers, off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Brown, fade away, no good. Ball still loose, rebounded by Jamil, who gives it off to Sanderson. Running the floor, Sanderson coast to coast. She is charged with the foul. Offensive charge. Sanderson's first, team's first. She went into her like a freight train. Again, she's a freshman. That's just that out of control. She could do she could have done a little pull-up jumper about the foul line. Had a clear shot. 
Desden Beam comes in for McKenzie Beam. Here we go. We're going, no, no trap is up. That one's but, stolen away. Yep. Sanderson, Desden Beam pulls it down. And she stepped on the line. A trap's working. They got they, they throw those skip passes, those long passes, and uh, yeah, it's, it's messing with the Cavaliers. Holton gives it to Smith. Stolen Smith gets again. it stolen. Jamil by herself, no good. Sanderson the follow, no good. Sanderson with the rebound, good. Thirty to twenty-nine, under five minutes to go here in the third. Wilmington in the lead. I tell you, I'm, sm I'm smelling a little momentum here, too, for Wilmington right now. Holton almost threw that one away. I think Wilmington's had that momentum almost all game long. Well, uh, the home court advantage, man. Yeah, but I. I Holton to Smith. Just feels a little different. Wilmington's playing a little more tougher on D right now. Jordan more aggressive. Travel. Travel. I'm surprised Jordan's still in the game with three fouls. So we have a small cheering section here for the Lady Kane, but they're they loud. are they are loud. They're doing a good job for them. Dylan Bogards over yeah, there. Yeah, it looks like Bogards over there. One of the guards for the varsity men's team. Lehman. Five seconds. Gotta move. You she had Penny went there. down low. Yeah, she's not thinking there's. But you know what? The coach is right there. He's gotta be talking to her. Hey, get rid of it. Get rid of it. He might have been. He right. might have been. Oh, you know, we can't tell up here. Cross court, Dawes throws to Holton. Holton back over to Dawes. Jillicoffey like trying to get it in. Almost got a trap. Jordan. Over to Smith, Smith over to Dawes, thought about a three, gives it back to Smith, back over to Holton, Holton to oh, Jordan. Oh, open. man, back door. Brown for the bucket. <clears throat> Sanderson drives, gives it off, Jamil for three. No good, too strong, rebounded by Brown. Holton by herself, gets it off the glass and good. Timeout. Chillicothe, 30 second timeout. 317 left to go in the third. 33 to 30. Yep. Chillicothe with a three point lead. What are you seeing right now? Why Wilmington is not uh, keeping all the lead? Just out of control. You know, they're doing a good job on defense. They really are for the most part. But they're just not, you know, when they're on the offensive side, they're pushing things and they're just not, you got to take care of the basketball. Yeah, it's 33-30. They're still in it. They're looking at it. It's like the girl with the five-second call. You can't let that happen at this stage of the ball game. And, and she's smart enough, too. I, I don't know what I don't know what she was thinking, to be honest with you. It's right there in front of the coach, too. 33-30. Wilmington with the basketball. Wilmington ball. Uh, yeah, I'm really surprised too with the Chillicothe speed. Seems like they could be doing a lot of pressing. Right. And they, they don't they choose not to do it. Johns gives it to Jamil. Jamil back to Johns. Johns to Beam. Beam back over to Johns. Johns drives. Got kick, finds Penny Witt. No good. Rebounded by Brown. Right there. Brown to Holton. Holton to Jordan. Jordan with two. <laughs> Whistle blown. I don't know what happened there. We just had a stoppage in play. I think the referee thought maybe somebody might be hurt. Maybe. Okay, restart. 35-30, 2.45 to go. Jamil. Third quarter. 
Working against Dawes, gotta get rid of it. Gives it off to Beam. Beam to Fleeman. Fleeman goes up. Wow, nice what move. a shot by Victoria Fleeman. Back to a three point game. Holton all alone. Lost a hold of it and put gets the bucket anyways with one hand. Forty-seven thirty-two. Three pointer for John's no good. Thirty-seven thirty-two. Dawes trying Still to get it to Smith. Using that speed right now. Smith with the bucket. Now they're starting to pull away. 39-32, 148 left to go in the third. Johns gives it back to Jamil. Jamil inside Fleeman. Wow, that was a hard foul. Who's that on? That's 33. That's hurt. No, it's 32. 33. Wow, that's her fourth. That's her fourth. That's her fourth. Is he going to leave her in there? If he leaves her in there, if I'm Wilmington's coach, I'm going right at her next time down the court. Two shots for Fleeman. First one, no good. They need That's to make a, these free throws. And yeah, Smith yeah, is coming she's in. coming out, yeah. Second one. Got good. that one. Fleeman with 14 on the night. Fleeman's just going to have to do like what she did in the last drive, just start taking over. Yeah. Of course, they, did they just take her out? Yes, yeah, so they just took her out. Well, Sanderson is still on. Johns is still in. Yeah. Five girls on the court that are really good basketball players. Good job knocking that one out of the hands. But the jumper and the basket for Smith. Number 23, Chantel Smith. To complete the three-point play, Chantel Smith misses, rebounded by Penny Witt. What was that? I don't know what they did there. Sanderson brings the ball up the court. Really want any reason for a stoppage and play. Oh, nice pass to Earhart for two. 110 left to go in the third. 41-35. Chillicothe in the lead. Dahl over to Smith. Travel. No nope. foul. I go on Earhart. Yep. Nope. That her third or second or third? Who's that on? Earhart. They four. got 25 up there. We got it. They haven't changed it yet. It was on Earhart. It was on Earhart. That's her second. Smith to Smith. Ball loose. Going to stay with Chillicothe. Inbound. Brown goes up strong. Got it. Sanderson gives it off. Beam. Almost lost the ball. Gives it back to Sanderson. Sanderson back over to Beam. Three pointer. She traveled though, but that would have been great if she didn't travel. Yeah, you know, I tell you what, Chill College has got, they got a lot of talent, you know. And there's four or five girls on this Chill College team, it's pretty impressive. Lett, Dawes, Jordan, Brown, Smith. Dawes got it blocked by Pennywood. That was a frustration block, too. 
Eight point lead for Chillicothe. I think this is their biggest lead of the game. Yes, and 13 Dahl's, seconds uh, left. Dahl's probably impresses me more than I am. She shouldn't have a lot of points, but she controls the ball well. Five. And just her speed. Smith throws it up. No good. At the end of three quarters, ladies and gentlemen, our score is Chillicothe 43, Wilmington 35. You are watching High School Girls Basketball Live on CampusNation.com, the sports animal. You're, uh, uh, you're home for high school and college sports. I'm normally really good at that. <laughs> it's been a long day. You're all right, baby. It's all right. One more <laughs> quarter left in our day. Ten, ten, uh, ten points were scored by the Hurricane that quarter, but... Uh, Chillicothe scored 15. So it's 15 to 10 quarter there. Yeah, so Wilmington's got to turn it up. I mean, I'll tell you what, I really felt like Wilmington was going to do some business at the beginning of that quarter because they seemed like he turned up the defense a little bit. Right. But then they just started getting burnt back. But this Chillicothe is a fast, very, very, very smart athletic team. And Wilmington, I think, is just young compared yeah, to these guys. Yeah, they're very, very young. I mean, if you look at Chilcali. One uh, freshman. There's one freshman. Two sophomores. Three That's seniors. Four juniors. Uh, and I, to be honest with you, you can tell, you know, just watching them play. You can tell they're a little older club. and They're good. They're good. Wilmington begins with the basketball to begin our final quarter here on senior night. Wilmington looking to pull up the big upset win. They have eight minutes to do it. They're down by eight. John gets the pick from Earhart, throws it over to Beam. Beam gives it back to John. Almost thrown away. And he went once the ball. Yep, she was open too. Sanderson with it. Sanderson, John, three-pointer, no good. Nowhere near it. Rebounded by Brown. That one stolen away by Wilmington. It's Sanderson. Yeah, Sanderson over away. to Johns. Oh, ball's loose on the floor. Jump ball. That one's going to go to Chillicothe. yeah. Fleeman and Jamil back in. <laughs> Man. Great minds think alike. Right, we do that a lot. It's all right. It's funny when we do it though. It's right. like, oops. Here we go. Brown. Charge. Oh, wow. Good job by Fleeman. That was a great acting job. That one against Brown. She put her shoulder That's down her though. Third. Yeah, she did. I didn't think they were going to call it, but they did. Chill Collie coach wasn't too happy about that one. No, neither were the fans over here. Sanderson. Tried to give it to Jamil. It goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with Wilmington. Timeout, Wilmington. Full timeout, 6.54 left, 43-35. Yep, 43-35. I don't know. What, full time out here by the Hurricane. Yeah, there's still a lot of time left in this game where they just need to inch back in it, you know? Right. If they can get it you know, within one or two with less than a minute to go, that should be our goal. You, know, you can't can't get back all of, all of it at once, but, I mean, they're not out of this. I, I believe I'd go back to that half-court trap. I mean, keep doing that. Anything you can do, shake them up. Maybe even go full court. Nothing's impossible in the world of high school sports. That's true. Or any of these sports. I'd say that's one thing that makes it interesting. I remember with the Cleveland Browns one time, they were in a game by the Chicago Bears at Chicago, and Cleveland was up like 17 with three or four minutes left to go in the game, and they got beat. What about the John Elway drive? Denver against Cleveland. Yep. Yep. And look at the Super Bowl. Right. I mean, Seahawks had that in the bag. Campus Nation goes where all the close games are. We had one earlier this afternoon with the Lady Quakers. We've had a lot of them yep. recently. This one, another one. The men's game last Wednesday was a good game. It was Gets Ohio Northern. Yeah, Wilmington well, we winning big, but it was three-point difference in the second half. 
Lehman. Tried to drive, saves it, nice pass. Earhart back to Fleeman. Got the bucket! Good play. That yeah. was a very under control. Good play. Let's back in the game. She gives it to Holton. And a foul against Earhart. That's just the fourth for Wilmington. That's her third by my numbers. Yeah, we still got six minutes to go, so. Frisco comes back in. Wilmington just needs to flip possessions here a couple times, and they're right back in it. There's the inbound. Almost lost the ball there. Holt controls it. Gave it off to Cousins. Cousins gave it to Smith. Oh, Sanderson almost got a piece of that one. Let with the ball. Gives it off, Holton, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Fleeman. She was fighting for that one. Yes, she, she wanted was. that one. Fleeman by herself, no good. No good. Gotta get back. Here they come. Rebounded Smith. Smith takes it down. Gonna stay with Chillicothe off the legs of Bean. That was a chance for him to get a little closer, but couldn't convert. Five fifty-eight, forty-three thirty-seven. And bound goes the dolls. Brown gave it back to Let. Let over the dolls and almost got it thrown away. Holton with the basketball. They've had a lot of dangerous passes this quarter. Smith. Nice layup. That was not one of them, though. That was a nice cut. And, uh, Sanderson driving. Oh, my goodness. That was awesome. Two points for Sanderson. Back to a six-point game. Let gets it stolen away by Bean. Here goes Fleeman. Wilmington with numbers. Fleeman by herself. No good. Rebounded. Frisco. Jump ball. Wilmington basketball. There you go. It's one of those opportunities now to you know, cut into that lead. Cut into it to four, maybe three. Inbound goes to Fleeman. Fleeman, Sanderson, three, no good. Rebounded by Brown, she traveled. Wilmington still in this. Wilmington's got another chance here to shorten that lead. Here we go. Gets it in. Foul as soon as the ball was inbounded on Holt, number 20. That's her third. I don't get oh. it. Why are we forcing the ball there? I don't know. Just get the ball in bounds. If it's not there, you can't throw it there. Five minutes left, 45-39, six-point game. Nice. Oh, good steal by Sanderson. She's going to take it all by herself and get fouled, but she missed the bucket. And that's Lett's fourth. Wilmington in the bonus now. Dolls. Sanderson will be shooting wow, two. Wow, I thought they called down left. Okay. First one, good by Sanderson. This one's going to yeah. come down to the wire, Charlie. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And, and they're, yeah, they're doing it the right way. Just getting back a little at a time. First one, no. Or second one, no. Good. Sanderson, she stole it away, but the ball was picked back up by Brown. Man. Dolls lost it. Oh, oh that's got, a foul. You know what? They're going to call out on Wilmington, and uh, I would I would have to say it's on. Uh, no, they're not going to call that on Wilmington. 
They might call that on her. And that might be a technical. That yeah, that's one good. call. They called that well, on they her. They called it the right way. We see so many plays like that go against the defense. That that's a one-on-one coming yep. for Sanders. Sanders is taking a beat tonight, but she guess is. what? She is still on yep, the court playing her heart out. Yep, she's doing a good job. She was just rammed into the railing over there. Oh, I know. One-on-one, and one. first one, no good. Rebounded by Fleeman, who's fouled. There's two shots. That's Brown's foul. I don't know how many that is for Brown. See, they called on Smith. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you did that, too, because I swear earlier I saw one. The, the numbers on these uniforms, I don't know. They're, they're black on dark blue, so they are a little hard to read. Anyways, Fleeman makes the first. Second one, good as well. 42-45. Chillicothe now holds a three-point lead with four and a half minutes to go. They're holding on to it. Wilmington's playing great defense. And that one again, almost stolen away. Smith gets that one, almost stolen away. Dolls back over to Lett. Lett inside to Brown and a foul against Desden Bean. Two shots coming up for Brown. Full timeout called by Wilmington. 4.17 left to go. This is going to be a good ending, I think. Yep. I think it could go either way right now. You are watching High School Girls Basketball Live on CampusNation.com. The Sports Animal, your home for high school and college sports. Charlie down there. Brown like the Jolly Green Giant. I'll tell you what. Wilmington's right in this. This is where they want to be. I mean... Chillicothe, you know, one of the first place teams in uh, the SCOL. And uh, you can't beat it. I mean, I think Wilmington should be ha very happy where they're at right now. Yeah. And we're going over and checking with a score with one of the Chillicothe coaches. Because Chillicothe's got a lot of girls in foul trouble. Lett with three, Holden, Holton with three, Jordan with four, Brown with three. Dawes has two. And that last foul Dawes committed, that was rough. Yeah, that almost should have been a technical. The refs let them get away a lot pushing off on the offensive end. You notice that? Yep. Okay, 32 going to the line here. That's Brown. That's Brown. Yep. Shooting two shots. Yeah, well, we just only got five fouls. First foot good. She's got nine on the night. Second one for Brown. Up. Good. Four, back to a five point lead. Here goes Sanderson down the court. Gives it off. Beam. What a move, beam jumper, no good. Rebounded by Brown. Cousins gives it off to Holt. No Holt in trouble. Stolen again. Sanderson gets That's fouled. That's going to be a foul on number three. One and one. For Sanderson. Fouls on Cousins. It's good, the first one, front end. <clears throat> Sanderson's got 10 tonight. Sanderson misses the second one. Ball's going back to Chillicothe. Dawes with the inbound. Well, quick. Yep, they're going to show pressure. Oh, they tried to trap her over to Cousins. 
Cousins back to Holton. Good D. Holton tried to fit it in. Stolen away by Frisco. Oh, oh, she threw it right back to Cousins. Holton misses the jumper. Rebounded by Brown. Brown goes up, gets fouled, and the bucket counts. Brown is uh, saying, just get on my back, Cavaliers. I'm going to take you home. She's done really well here the last uh, two or three minutes. You like to see players emerge like that, you know? Yeah, Frisco is charged with the foul. Lane violation, no basket. Just like that, uh, Courtney. Uh, Tucker. Yeah, Courtney Tucker for Wilmington College. She just basically took over the last few minutes of that game. Well, the foul shot doesn't count. There was a lane violation against Chillicothe. Wilmington with the ball, down by six. Bad pass going back to Cothy. Yeah. Just trying to force too much. Jordan coming back in the game with four fouls. Yep. I go right at her. Last 316. Left to go. Six play game. Gulls gets it up to Cousins. Cousins to Jordan, but Sanderson's gonna get dinged with the foul. Yeah, she reached. One and one. 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 Yeah. And yeah, that might actually help Wilmington because they can you know, get fouls to stop the clock. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Front end is up. Good. The back end. Missed it. Rebounded by Fleeman. Yep. Lehman gets fouled. She'll shoot two, whereas Wilmington's in the double bonus. Holton's fourth. Lehman makes the first. Back to a six point game. Cleveland's got 19 on the night by my count. Wow. One more, it'll be 20. Got it. 45 to 50. That's what the score should say. Smith in trouble. Gives Still plenty off. of time. They just need a couple stops here. Ball's on the ground. Dolls goes up with it hard. No good. Rebounded by Fleeman. Fleeman to Jamil. Jamil by herself. No good. Rebounded by Jamil. Here we go. Two and a half minutes to go. Down by five. Jamil gets fouled. See, it's like right there. She had the leading score wide open for a three and didn't even throw it to her. No. I don't get that. Dolls with the foul. Jamil missed that one too. I tell you, that's going to be the their nemesis in this game because they make they just make half the foul shots they've missed. They're ahead, they're probably. Like yeah, they're ahead. Second one, no good as no well. Either. They're going to have to make baskets when they have a chance. Wow, Jordan on the other end, off the glass for two. 52-45, Sanderson. Takes it herself, good. That was a good play. 12 points for Sanderson. Back to a three point game. Going up, oh. Fleeman's gonna get knocked now, with see, the foul. I have a problem with that because, you know, the ref calls that clear out there near midcourt, and the guy underneath doesn't call anything, and it's right in front of him. Good on the first. 
Should be 53-49. Second one good. Timeout, Chillicothe. 157 left to go. It should be 54-49, but the scoreboard says 54-47. They didn't count Sanderson's last bucket. You are watching girls' high school sense. basketball. Fair Bill Lehrman be on them about that down there. Right. You're watching girls' high school basketball live on CampusNation.com, the sports animal. And You're Jordan home. has 16 tonight for the Cavaliers. Right. Jordan has just kind of run away with things, but Brown's turned it on here toward the end. Fleeman's just having a great night. Yeah, by my count, Fleeman's got 20. Ready here for the last. Uh, they still haven't changed the score, man. Minute 57. That's going to bug me unless that is right. Maybe it is right. I don't know. 54 47. I thought it was just a five point game. Jamil with the basketball. Oh, and they called her for a carry. Dolls gives it back to Let. Let back over to Dolls. 135 left. So Kyle, they just keep the ball out on top, trying to burn a little clock here. Dolls almost stepped for a backcourt. Ball gets knocked out of bounds and stay with Chillicothe. Sign for Wilmington to foul. Wilmington needs to foul now, I think. If you can't get the ball, first 10 seconds, you're going to have to foul somebody. There it is. Yep. Well, you got to. It's the only way to stop the clock. You got hope. You got hope that they miss foul shots. Timeout, Wilmington. I'm sure that's what the coach is going to tell them now. We got a foul. 30 second timeout called by the Kane. 54 47. The Chilcotti's going the line to shoot. One and one. One and one, yes. Oh, man. We're at nice, soft, cushioned seats here at uh, Wilmington. Actually, we're sitting in the stands tonight. They get the co co comfy uh, box up there. Yep. Because Crystal called me names and I had to leave. Yep, my daughter. What do you do? 54-47. Let, Let at the line. First one up. Good. Oh, second one. Good. Nine-point game. 56-47. Jamil gives it off. Can't mess around with it. Got to get shots up. Yeah, three-possession game. You need some threes. Jamil missed it. No foul call. Again, just forcing it. They're in panic mode. Yeah, I mean, you got to shoot some threes. You got to foul right now. There it is. Number 11, I believe, Bean. Woman, you cannot waste that much time on the offensive end. They got to come down and shoot the ball. Quick jumpers, quick jumpers. Yeah, I mean, yeah, preferably threes because, like I said, you're down nine, about to be maybe ten. Ten. Uh, Dolls shooting two at the line. The first one is good. Mm 
Second one, no good. Lane violation against Wilmington. We don't see those very often, but we've seen two here in the last five minutes. Got it. 11 point lead, the largest lead for Chillicothe tonight. May just be the one that ends it. Bean. Yep. Tell you, Wilmington hung with him for three quarters. Fleeman, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts up the reverse layup, no good. Rebounded by Brown. Timeout, Chillicothe. Full timeout. After the game, I'll go down and get official stats from Bill. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea because uh, they've been messed up a little bit. Well, now I messed up on the Smiths. I know I didn't realize we had two Smiths for right. a while. So I'm pretty good on the rest. I think I'm pretty good on the rest. Yeah, you can get the official ones. I'll talk about the car show while you're going down and get them. There you go. Talk to Rick. Talk to the Don. <laughs> Rick will be uh, talking to all the girls talk up there. Talk to the Godfather. Rick is the godfather. Rick Filipiano back here in the booth. <laughs> Running the sound and Funny thing setting is, all this he up. He probably doesn't have the headphone on to hear us. That's true. But then next thing I know, I'll get something thrown in my head. Well, the Cavaliers are going to share the SCOL title. Oh! Sanderson almost had it. They're going to share the SCOL title with the McLean Tigers. Wilmington put up a good fight here tonight, though. Yeah, they did. They played great. This is probably their best game they've played all year for three quarters. Well, yeah, the last, I tell you, this last quarter, they've done some things that, you know, you got a girl who's got 20 points, you, uh, you need to feed her the basketball. Some of their decisions, though, like you said, they're, they're head scratchers. Yeah. Three-pointer at the top of the key by Fleeman, no good. Rebounded by Johns. Johns goes up, gets fouled by 33, and I think that's her fifth. That's it, yeah. She's out. Foul number 33, Jasmine Jordan, her fifth. She leaves with 16, though. She had a good night. She's she really started the game off with a lot. Yep. Yeah. She, got, she got the... Got the Cavaliers going right, yeah, right at the beginning with like six quick points. Johns misses the first. For Wilmington to hang with a team like Chillicothe is a, is a very big they feat played, indeed. They played a good game. Three pointer for Jamil, no good in and out. Now, like we've said before, if Wilmington would have made all these free throws, they missed. Oh, I tell you what, that'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, they just made half of them. I mean, you're in the game. You're leading, maybe. By maybe a leading, yeah, maybe. I mean, you're 11 down. I don't know if they've missed that many, but I'd say uh, they've missed at least seven. I had to ask Bill. Yep. Going to the book. Fifth foul committed by oh. Desmond Beam. Yeah. Well, I missed one there. I only had her down for four. And that's all the scoreboard's saying, too. And, and I think that's different. But I think she only had four. Hey, we're all human. I mean, that could be a human mistake down there too. It doesn't make any difference. 18 seconds to go. Lady Hurricane played a good game tonight. Nothing to hang her heads about. So God, the team's a good team. Second shot. 
good. Sanderson's going to bring it up. Throw it over to Jamil, who lost it. Ball's going to go back to Chillicothe, and I can imagine they're just inbounded. And that might be it. 13.7 to go. Ten seconds left. Gives it off. The let that's gonna probably be it, ladies and gentlemen. 59-47, Chillicothe with the win. win. Good game by both teams. I tell you, Chillicothe is quick. Yeah. And uh, they had a couple people that just played outstanding for them this evening. We got a good team leader in that uh, Dawes and Jordan was 16. Brown, I think, <coughs> ended up. I'm going to go down and yeah, get with 11. Stats. I'll be right back. All right. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed uh Hopefully you've enjoyed the broadcast tonight on CampusNation.com. I know they've got a busy schedule still ahead of them. They're going to be in Columbus next Friday. they got wrestling Wednesday. This Tuesday night they're covering the Wilmington East Clinton game. AJ's running down to get the stats. What do you think, Rick? What do you think? You're waking up? I'm waking up now. We've had uh, stirring conversation. Well, I would say that is now is AJ going down to get stats? Is AJ getting stats? Yes. All right. AJ is getting stats at the moment. Uh, well, we got a minute. Is that one of our, uh, oh, I thought that was one of our college girls. Is that one of the uh, twins? I think so. The blonde that just walked by? Uh, just like remind everybody about my car show. Did you February tell everybody? February 28th, March 1st, Robert Center. If you got an old car, especially you guys might be listening in the Chillicothe area, we'd love to have you come down to the Robert Center. There's a holiday in there. You come down and spend the night. Uh, Saturday, February 28th, March 1st. If you have any information on it, go to Chaz's DJ Service on Facebook, and you can find all the information you need to know about. We'd love to see you there. I know some of you guys down in Chile, and we'd love to have you come down. And of course, everybody in Wilmington has old cars. Come on out, and it's only $5 to get in. If you don't have an old car, come out and check them out. And the proceeds go to Alzheimer's. Well, it definitely was a good game. It was a close game most of the way. Um, it, yeah, Wilmington played a good game. Yeah. Wilmington I know you played, were rooting for Wilmington in particular because you wanted right, that. But they played a uh, third quarter. Fourth quarter seemed like they made some funky decisions. But, you know, a Fleming girl had a 20, and it, almost like they didn't want to feed it to her that last quarter. So we want to remind everybody that our next broadcast will be this Tuesday, February the 10th. We've got uh, boys high school basketball. The uh, Wilmington uh, boys, Kane, will be here, and they will host East Clinton, the Astros. That game will get uh, started with our pregame at 7.15 and tip off at 7.30. And then also this week, we've got boys high school, uh, uh, well, we got wrestling. Sometimes there are girls that wrestle, so we can't really say boys high school wrestling. But we've got a uh, tri-meet, and that will be with Bellbrook and Blanchester. And that will, once again, start at about 5.15 with the uh, festivities to start at about 5.30. And then uh, we come back with boys basketball. Uh, that will be on the 13th. That is a big game, and that is a game that we're doing in Columbus. That will be number nine, Dublin Jerome, against uh, number eight, Westerville South. And they will be playing uh, the second matchup. This is the one at Westerville South, obviously. Dublin Jerome knocked off Westerville when they were ranked second in the state. Uh, they're in Dublin by about 12 points, and uh, Westerville will get the opportunity to return the favor with Dublin coming into Westerville South. And then uh, the 14th, which would be uh, next uh, Saturday, we've got women's college basketball. 
Baldwin Wallace, the, the bees, or the uh, yellow jackets, or I think they're the yellow jackets, because their colors are black and yellow. Uh, they'll be into uh, Wilmington, so the Lady uh, Quakers will be hosting Baldwin Wallace. That game will start at uh, 2.45. That's next Saturday? That's right, with a tip-off at 3 o'clock. And uh, we have a couple games left on our schedule. Uh, on the 18th, we've got women's college basketball. Muskegon will come in uh, to face the Wilmington uh, Lady Quakers. And then men's college basketball on the 21st, and that will be Mount Union at Wilmington. And we're getting ready to cut the nets uh, down here. February, unless we've got anything else that we add, but we've got tournament basketball that will be coming up. I've got to get ready uh, to see how far we can follow the uh, Wilmington boys in the tournament. Sure. And uh, th that'll be some exciting basketball. Uh, and typically, we'll go to other venues for that. Notice they're bringing out the ladders here. He's cutting down the. going to cut the nets down. Jose won a share of the SCOL championship, the Chilcothic Cavs. So. Well, that makes sense because this is their last game. So they uh, they like. Well, they won uh, outright. It is a share. I don't think so. So was it a tie? Head to head, Chilcothic wins outright the SCOL. Because. Huh. All right, so I don't know about that. We'll have to check into that. Uh, Chillicothe, the Cavaliers, are the SCOL well, That depends on the year. conference, yeah. The and they're cutting right. the nets down. Well, here, we'll, let's uh, we'll hear get your that final stats. We'll actually uh, show you as they cut the net down. Typically what they'll do is each player gets up and clips a little part of the net. I'm going to go over stats All real right. quick. You go over stats while they're cutting the uh, nets down. Make sure you... You've got the late, the ending stats. I'll, I'll take those so that I can post them on the site. Shea Lett with eight points. Bree Dawes with eight points. Cousins with four. Uh, Jasmine Jordan with 14. Osh Brown with 11. Alexis May had eight. Bria Earhart with two. Desden Beam with two. Faith Sanderson with 13. Victoria Fleeman, 19. Monica Pennywit with four. Katie Jamil with four, McKenzie Beam with one, and Leah Fresco with two. I guess I was off one on uh, Fleeman. Yeah, I thought she had 20, but that's all right. 19 points, good night. Chili finishes the year 15 and five, winning the SCOL outright. Wilmington goes to six and 12. They only lost, and they missed 14 free throws. They were 21 of 35. If they would have made all 14 free throws they missed, they would have won by two points. Yep. I, we knew it was gonna be close there. I, I can't believe they missed that many. I knew they missed, I thought at least eight or nine, but 14 free throws they missed, wow. Yeah, that, that, that was ball game right there. Write down SCOL champions for Chillicothe on there. That's going to go with you, so you can put that on the side. Girls champion. And then they're cutting the nets down here at Wilmington High School. Chillicothe's got a good team. Like I said, uh, the two losses the McLean Tigers had was to Chillicothe. So that makes sense what you're saying, but it does in one way and it does in another way. So we'll see. Huh? Yeah. We'll see. Uh, I have talked to my boys at school, and you're, you may be right, but that would be a league, I think, decision how they do that. I was down there talking to the to Bill and the other the head scorer for right. the Cavaliers, and because they gave McLean those two league losses, it goes to head to head when you're tied. That's the first yeah, tiebreaker. Is head be. to head. Might Chilla be. Coffee won wins the tiebreaker. We are right now watching the but net you can also But you can also argue the fact, too, that McLean beat two teams that, that they didn't. Yeah. So that's why I mean. I don't know if that's quite right. I'll find out, though. Yeah. I'll find out. I'll ask my AD on uh, Monday when I go over. And because uh, I think I think it could, I think it's a shared thing, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. 
And I think that would just be a league decision. You know, how are you going to handle things within the league? And that may be that may be the way it is. Well, so. we'll find out. But as far as we know right now, Chillicothe is one outright. Yeah. Well. I mean, that's as far. Uh, you're just you're McLean, man. That's right, baby. And I don't know. I I really don't know that. It's you're right. just like college, and it's just like football. If you win the head-to-head when your records are the same, let's say. All right, I think McLean won tonight. They're eleven and two in the league. Right. With Chillicothe being 11 and 2. What you're but saying makes sense to a point. And you may be right. But head I, to I head. Say there's it doesn't art. matter who it, all right, it doesn't matter who Chillicothe lost to. It only matters who McLean lost to because McLean lost to Chillicothe twice. I'll find out on Monday. <laughs> I don't believe you. I really don't believe you because I've seen several things from people at our school as posted if they win, they share the championship. So you have some other information you'll know there. We'll see. I, like I said, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. Right. You're just saying you're right. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Come on, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had Dave fun tonight. Man, he called me Dave. <laughs> well, I think we're going to be out of here they, for the he night. That they share. I think Rick might uh, take us out, or we could just call it a night. We're almost done with it. Keep it going. Something they can have. Till they're finished cutting the net. Once this net is down, why do they have a ladder down here? Why is the ladder down there? Because there was two ladders. What's they had the janitor go get one, and the guy that was here got the other. Well, one. okay. Now the coach is cutting, right? All right. I don't know how that works. Thanks, Charlie. What, you still giving me crap? Up no. There? You still giving me crap up there? I got the ultimate end of the man. Just text anything. me what you know. Text me over. Text I'll, me you know. I'll see you Tuesday. Right. But you can also text me. So. Oh, on Facebook, I saw some people say that if they don't want it, would be a split. Share. Coach hand. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. We'd have to defer to the uh, SEOL powers. And we'll find out. I mean, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Charlie. We shall see you. There you go. It's down. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a nice game. Uh, too bad the Lady Kane couldn't pull this one out, but they fought all the way down to the end. Joe, this is Rick Phillips for Charlie Hargrave and A.J. Dave Ganger. <laughs> and, of course, Noelle Kane, our camera girl, who's been embarrassed a few times during the game today. But I did buy her Gatorade, so uh, it washes all down. <laughs> anyway, this is Rick Phillips saying, Go Kane! <laughs>